guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of talk through type tutorial, get ready with me. Plus I'm throwing in some Snapchat and Instagram questions. It's been a while since I've done a question and answer video. So this was really fun to do. I love this look. I think this is gonna be so beautiful for fall. I am so ready for fall. Like when it gets close to August, I am just so over summer, even though August is like the hottest part of summer. I literally am just ready for sweaters and boots and scarves and for it to not be a million degrees outside. But if you would like to see how I got this look and to hear a little bit more about me, get to know me a little bit more, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my face and do foundation. And I'm really just kind of winging this look, so we'll see where it goes. I know I wanna use like taupey shades. And another disclaimer, do not look at my little boy hands and judge me. My nails, I just took them off last night and I didn't have time to go get them done today. So I literally look like I have like eight year old boy hands, but I don't have self tanner on right now. I'm letting all of that just wash off so I can do my self tanning routine for you guys. I'm gonna hopefully film that this weekend. So I'm really excited about that. A lot of people have been asking for that. But since I'm light, I'm going to be using my Born This Way in the shade Nude. I love, love, love this foundation. I was like hard on this for a while. Like this is the only thing I used, but I'm super dry from traveling and stuff like that. So I'm gonna add in some of the Cover FX drops and I'm using Moonlight. So I love these mixed together. It's so, so pretty. And while I mix these up, let's go ahead and open a question. By the way, I'm only adding two drops into my little foundation. First question. James, how do you deal with mean or maybe unnecessary comments that people sometimes post? So how do I deal with mean or maybe unnecessary comments that sometimes people will post? I luckily feel like I don't get too much of it, but when I do, I am not one of those people that can brush things off. I take everything like kind of to heart and more than I should for sure, especially in this industry. But I don't know, I feel like you kind of just have to learn to have a little bit of a thicker skin. Um, I remember my first negative comment, it wasn't even that awful. It was something about my eyebrows. And I think I had like maybe a thousand subscribers at the time. And a girl made a comment on my brows and I remember calling Erin at work just like sobbing because I was like, why are people so mean that like don't even know me? So um, I think now I just kind of have had to get myself in a mindset of these people don't know you, these people, I mean, they're probably just doing it because they're bored or maybe they have an insecurity of their own. You never know what someone's going through and maybe that's just like their outlet is kind of taking it out on other people. Um, the ugly type of comments, I don't take as heart too much as I do like someone judging my character. So I've only had a couple of those and those ones are really tough to take. But yeah, just knowing that those people don't really know you and if they don't really know you, then you can't really take what they say seriously. So I guess that's my little two bits on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my brows before I do anything else. And I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. And one of my tricks to making your brows look thicker because I have dark hairs, but mine are just so sparse, is to go in with powder. And I feel like no one uses powder hardly ever anymore on their brows. Everyone's all about the pencils and the pomades. But I feel like layering a powder on top of like a brow pencil or a pomade just really makes the hairs look thicker and your brows look more naturally thick. So I always go in with the powder on top. And when I do the powder, I really just focus on the areas that look more sparse, like there's a sparse area there. So I'll just really like pack that on there. And it just looks thicker and more natural to me than like adding a ton of the pencil. So you can see on this one, I have like a major hole in my brow. And then you'll be able to see the difference because even after doing the pencil, you could still see it was pretty dominant. So after I do the powder, you'll be able to tell, like it just fills it in and it looks like you don't even have a problem area anymore. Okay, I'm gonna start doing my eyes and I'm using the 35F palette from Morphe. I used this for the first time, even though I've had it for a long time, I used it for the first time the other day and I fell in love. And I really wanna use like this taupey shade right here. So I'm just gonna get started on the eyes and open some more questions. I'm gonna start out with this color here and then probably go into this one and then build up a little bit of black on the outer crease just really, really lightly and then we'll go in with the lid shade. If you're gonna be making any more cakes soon, they're absolutely 
stunning, and I honestly don't know how you have time for that. It is my passion to make beautiful cakes like that, and yours are just so amazing, and they're really awesome. I love to see Aww. them. They're absolutely stunning and beautiful, and I know you're probably getting a million questions right now, but I just wanted to say that I love your cakes, and any advice on how you fit that with three kids and makeup tutorial. But I love you. You're like one of my She's favorite so people sweet. to follow ever. You're absolutely stunning and flawless at all times. You don't have no makeup. I love you. Oh, one more oh. question. I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Um, I was just wondering how you learned all the cake stuff. Did you take classes or if you taught yourself? Just wondering. Love you. She was literally so sweet. I'm doing my eyeshadow while I talk because there's no way that I could do it without doing this. We would be here for like three hours. Um, so as far as the cakes, those of you that don't know, I did cakes whenever I got pregnant with Noah is when I started. Um, I was in PT school and I couldn't do like the lifts or anything like that anymore. And I saw a cake show on TV and I was like, you know what? I think I could do that. I've always been super artsy. And so I begged Aaron to get me pans on his way home from work that day. And for some crazy reason he did. And I decided I was gonna, you know, just whip out a three tier cake for my first cake ever. I had never even baked a cake before this. I didn't spray my pans. I didn't have dowels. I didn't do separating boards. It was literally a disaster. Like the whole thing just ended up like melting into itself and it was just pieces of cake stuck together. Um, but no, I've never taken classes. I've always just taught myself along the way. And when new things came around, as far as like weddings and doing sugar flowers, I just decided I would do it myself. And I think that was a really cool way to do it because I've gotten to have like my own kind of signature look to my cakes. And especially wedding cakes. I love wedding cakes, they're my favorite. I love designing wedding cakes and doing sugar flowers. So thank you so much for that. That was so sweet of you. And yeah, I hope to do more cakes on my page so you guys can see them. The one this weekend is gonna be really, really pretty, so I'm excited for you to see it. So I'm just going in with a smaller blending brush and that black, like I said, and I'm just doing a really, really light hand on this one. And as far as advice for doing all of that with three kids, those of you that are newer to my channel probably don't know this, but I do all of this at nighttime. So I put them to bed. It's, what time is it right now? It is 9.53 right now. So this is when I get everything done and I just have to stay up throughout the night to get it done. The things that I'm passionate about, I will lose sleep for. So, um, yeah, I've always done cakes when the kids are sleeping, when they're napping, I would do some of the prep work. Everything happens while they sleep and that's pretty much the only way I get it done. So I'm just stamping this kind of on the outer corner and then I'm gonna go in with that same fluffy brush we started out with and blend it out. So I'm gonna leave the matte shadows like this for now. I'll probably go in and intensify it in a second, but I'm gonna go in with this taupey shade all over the lid, and then I'm gonna add this right in that outer corner meeting the black eyeshadow. Besides makeup artists, who else do you like to follow on Snap? And by the way, I love you. I think you're beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love you too. Um, I love to follow just my friends and I like to follow some food things on Snap, but mostly just my friends. I love to see all their little kids and I love watching Cara Loren. I never know if it's Cara or Cara, but I love watching her. She's a fashion blogger and I adore her. She has two little boys and I love watching their snaps because they're always doing like tons of adventures and having so much fun. And I love, of course, following all my other friends that do beauty blogging and just seeing what they're up to. And yeah, just friends and other beauty bloggers. And I'm just nosy. I feel like Snapchat is a really easy way to be nosy because you're seeing like snippets of everybody's life, but it's fun. I love Snap and I feel like I waited such a long time and I don't know why anymore. This taupey shade is so pretty. I don't know if I even wanna do that darker color on the outer corner. We'll see. Okay, this looks a little bit more bronzy than I thought it was gonna look on the lids. So I am gonna do that darker color and I'm just going like on this very outer corner, meeting that black. And we're gonna go over the black too. Hi Steph, I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. 
lucky and I know that you're oh, a performer, so my close. question is, do you do any local events or lessons? You're so close to me. I love whenever I figure out that like my subscribers or followers are close to me because I feel like none of them live here, but that's awesome. I actually have family that live in Owensboro. Um, but yeah, I actually do like classes. I can't do freelancing in Indiana, but I do classes and it's really, really fun. I'm going back in with that black and just deepening up the outer corner. But what we do in the classes is I have everybody just come together you bring like your go-to makeup bag and I do a demo. I do everything from finding your correct shade, figuring out what foundation is going to work best for you, skin types, everything like that. And I'll have a model there and I do a full on face starting with brows, foundation, eyes, everything. Show you the brushes that you need. Um, nothing too crazy. Like you don't need 50 brushes, but I do show you the key pieces that will help you get a full face of makeup and just the looks that you want to achieve and I do like a basic class and then I do one that's a little bit more advanced for like smoky eyes things like that but it's literally a full face of makeup and I have sheets where you guys can take notes and then I do one-on-ones with everybody that comes and I just sit down go through your makeup bag kind of go through the goals that you have for your makeup help you learn how to use what you already have and then we make a sheet of things that would help you get the looks that you want to create as far as products and things like that so yeah i do classes every once in a while and they're super fun so like i said i'm just going in with that smaller brush again in the black shadow i'm just taking this right on the outer part of the eye and barely you can see i'm like barely holding onto this brush barely taking any up into the crease at all Going back in with that same fluffy brush, I'm just gonna take that warm shade that we used first in our crease and kind of go around the edges, give it a little bit more warmth and blend everything out. And while we are in between questions, because this is something that I get asked all the time, is if I will do cooking videos or a cooking channel. I seriously want to do that for you guys so badly. I just am trying to figure out time when I can do it. But my snap fam gets to see a lot of recipes that I make and I know you guys want more like in depth. So I really, really am gonna work on doing cooking videos either on my channel or starting another one because I love to cook. I just grew up cooking. My mom kind of always had us in the kitchen and I just love coming up with new things. So like I said, I'm gonna try really hard <laughs> to get a cooking video or channel up for you guys. I'm going to use this Tardis Double Take Liner. I used this the other day on Tarte Snapchat and I fell in love with it. It has like a coal on one side and a liquid liner on the other. So I'm going to tight line and do my wing because I cannot do this while I'm talking. If you can, then you are superhuman. For lashes, I'm going to be using these. These are a new style from House of Lashes called Spellbound. And these are so gorgeous. These are totally my style of lash. These are really similar looking to the Queen Bees from Coco, but they aren't as long. So if the Queen Bees are intimidating to you, then definitely try this one out. So here's like a closer look at them. Like I said, they look really similar to the Queen Bees. They just aren't quite as dramatic and long. And the band seems thinner on these as well. I've been slacking so hard telling you guys what I'm actually using and all the brushes I'm using are the new Morphe Elite 2 collection. I will have all the ones listed that I'm using and linked below so that you can get them. And I'm gonna just move on to my face. I'm using the E20 and you guys know the Becca under eye brightening corrector for real. Like if you have seen my videos, I literally use this in every single video because it is so necessary. I did my eye makeup the other day and I didn't put this underneath my eyes I literally look like a zombie, you guys. For my concealer, I'm gonna use the Shape Tape from Tarte, and I'm using the shade Light. And I will say, I've been going between this and the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and they are pretty similar in that they are really, really light on the skin, but this one definitely has more coverage. So if you had to choose between the two, if you need more coverage, I would go for this one. Just doing the huge underneath the eyes, center of the nose, forehead and chin and while I'm at it looking crazy I'm gonna go back to Instagram because I did have some questions from Instagram as well and the first question was can you do an updated video on your brow routine also how the heck do you have time to look so dang fabulous every day 
Girl, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know I do not look fabulous every day. And thank you for the compliment. But um, as far as an updated brow routine, I definitely need to do one. I think the last time I did one, our house wasn't even done yet. So it's been a long time. It's been like a year since my last one. I do basically the same thing, but I have switched it up a little bit. So thumbs up for this video if you want to see an updated brow routine. And I am using this Morphe sponge again to blend everything out, y'all. This sponge is my favorite. This is the only one that I brought with me to California and I just love this thing. I will use this every single day because I use this side for foundation and then I use this side for my concealer and it just blends everything out so well. To set my under eyes, I'm using this for the first time, so I'm just gonna cross my fingers that it goes well. This is the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. And I've heard some people say that this is really similar to the Laura Mercier one. It looks so white compared to the transparent one from Laura Mercier. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna use a Morphe E49. And just tap this underneath my eyes. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Confidence Powder. This is the Double Duty Beauty Powder from Tarte. I used this the other day in that tutorial as well, and I love this powder. And look at this powder brush. I don't think I've ever seen a powder brush this big. This is the E41, and I just do a very, very light amount all over my face. This sets your foundation so beautifully, and it does give you a little bit of added coverage, but it's nothing overboard. It just makes your skin look airbrushed, so I'm obsessed with using this now. To warm up my skin, I'm gonna be using the Pure Bronzer, hands down, favorite bronzer ever. I've officially hit pan on it, and I just love this for giving your skin a nice warmth. So I'm just gonna go around the temples, and let's open another question, shall we? The next question on Instagram says, brows, lipstick, or lashes, which could you not live without if you could only choose one? She knows my weakness. That's like <laughs> all three of my favorite things. I would say brows. Brows just completely changed my face. <laughs> so yeah, brows. And then lashes, because I literally have no eyelashes at all. Speaking of lashes, the next question asked, what lashes do I use? And if you watch my channel, then you know I use a lot of House of Lashes and I love the Coco Queen Bees, obviously. Like, those are my hands down favorite lashes. And then, um, as far as like mink lashes, I only use Lily Lashes because they're just my favorite. Using this E53, I'm just gonna contour a little bit with the Anastasia Contour Kit. I don't want anything too structured. But then the next question is also about lashes and it says, I can't get my lashes to stick, any suggestions? And for anybody that is having trouble with their lashes sticking, I always suggest going to the House of Lashes Lash Glue. It is the only glue that I can use. The Duo really irritates my eyes anyway, but it also doesn't stick very well to me. Um, I've tried numerous ones. House of Lashes is literally the only lash glue that will work on my eyes. I have super watery eyes and it's just hands down the best. And I really, really ever have to like touch up my lashes they seriously stay on all day long. I will put my lashes on in the morning and I have to take them off at night and they usually, I mean, are perfectly intact. So House of Lashes Lash Glue, it is the best. For blush, I'm gonna use Amaretto from Jaclyn's palette in an E4. This is my favorite blush brush of all time, so I am so excited that it's also in this collection. And the next question is, if you could have dinner with anyone for one night alive or dead, who would it be and why? And I know that it may sound weird, but I've always wanted to kind of talk to Eve and just see like what the first woman that God created was like. And I've always been like very intrigued by her and very interested in like, what was the first woman like? So that's who I would have dinner with. I think it would be so interesting. The next one was, what is my go-to meal at home? And honestly, it's probably breakfast. We do breakfast for dinner once a week usually because it's so easy, especially with having kids. I mean, I grew up having dinner for breakfast all the time. My dad always did it for us. So my kids love it. They love that. And it's easier for me because my little boy is super, super picky. 
and it's easier to just make that and then not have to beg him to eat his dinner so they love like biscuits and gravy they love pancakes waffles eggs they basically love anything breakfast so yeah that's definitely like an easy go-to at our house for highlight i'm going to use that e49 and go into prosecco and champagne pop i love mixing these i feel like they look the most flattering when i mix them and i'm just going to apply that to the tops of the cheekbones i mean look at that i love this highlighter this face palette is just everything. So I apply it to the very highest point of my cheekbone. Then I also will kind of turn around and go right here on the highest point of the apple of my cheeks. So that when I'm actually looking at you, you see highlight as well, not just from the side. Take it on the tip of my nose, chin, and then on Cupid's bow. So I went ahead and did my lower waterline with that same liner. Now I'm gonna go in and mix this black shadow in this really warm brown shadow and run that along the lower lash line. I want this to be really smoked out. And I'm using an E18. This is a really cool kind of in-between brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush, but a little bit bigger, which is great when you wanna do a really smoky lower lash line. And the next question was, if I could have a day with a celebrity past or present, who would it be and why? And that's kind of hard for me as well because I'm not like huge into celebrities. Like I don't go crazy over celebrities, but if I had to choose one, it would probably be Johnny Depp just so I could pick his brain. And that's Noah's favorite actor. It's my favorite actor. And I think it's just so interesting that he can take on so many different roles and just his attitude about how he goes into a role. Like he literally becomes that person. So I think picking his brain would be really, really interesting. Now it's a mascara to your lower lashes and this is a big deal because you guys literally always see Benefit Roller Lash in my videos and I tried this out this past week. This is the Tarte Tardis mascara and I love this, especially for my lower lashes. So I'm going to add probably two coats of this. And you guys know this isn't going to be on camera because I literally have to be like this close to my mirror to be able to put mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the last question before I start doing lips because I'm not sure that I could do lips while talking. And the last question was, when you had a newborn, what was your go-to makeup look? I have a five-month-old and I'm trying to find something quick to start doing. So first of all, congratulations. Um, and whenever I had Noah, I literally did nothing. I was a hot mess whenever I first had Noah. I had a really tough delivery, really hard recovery from delivery, and then he also had a hard time just like learning to eat. And then also he had colic for almost five months months so I was a hot mess with Noah but with the girls I started and I just wanted to make sure that I was taking care of myself too so I do the same thing that I do now and I would wake up earlier than them and just make sure that I at least you know put on a little foundation covered my circles brows mascara and some lip gloss and even just doing something simple like that always made me feel better like I love getting up earlier than them and being ready I feel like getting ready just makes me feel better about the day I have more energy I just feel like I'm you know ready to go so I always just took the time woke up a few minutes earlier and those were the things that I did I made sure that I did brows concealer foundation a little bit of blush and then some lip gloss just something to make me look a little bit more alive <laughs> So now that I feel like this video has been forever long, I am going to do my lips and I'm using Dora Cosmetics Lip Liner in Underground. It's a really gray tone lip liner. And then I'm gonna be using these two from Tarte. I've been dying to use these. These are definitely out of my comfort zone, but I think they're really, really pretty and they're gonna look pretty with the taupe. So this is the lip paint in Rave and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of gloss because you guys know I'm a gloss girl. And this is in Snap. So let's go ahead and do this. And that's it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love how this look turned out, honestly, and I really love this lip. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. I really enjoyed doing this video, just kind of laid back and talking to you guys, even though I'm super scatterbrained. You guys just get to see a little bit more of my personality, and I think I wanna do that more often. So if you like this talk through video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know that you wanna see more of them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching and I love you guys. Bye.